silo, Admiral. Uh, Chip, lower the antenna. Prepare to take a reading. All right, sir. It's, uh, silo 19. Uh, the serial number is 37620. Uh, use tape number 3008. 3008. There's nothing down there. The silo's empty. Sparks, give me the Secretary of Defense on the double. Aye, aye, sir. Could someone have found it and picked it up? Well, the chances against it are one in a billion. Silos can't be detected by ordinary sounding gear. The position is top secret. Did I give you the right tape? 3008, correct. I have the Secretary of State, Admiral. Yes, Mr. Secretary. We're over one of the undersea silos. The missile has been removed. Yes, sir. I understand. Right away. Lee, you and I will start an air search in the flying sub. If some vessel has picked it up, it may still be in the area. Chip, you continue the search for the silos in the sea view. Yes, sir. Come on. Reports that destroyer Macklin is on its way to join the search. Good, good. I've, uh, I've got something on search radar. Looks like a small surface vessel. Oh, it's a sub. There. You see any national markings? Hmm? No, nothing. Well, let's circle back. Let's have another look.
Commander Lawrence. This is my executive officer, Lieutenant Stone, Ensign Frazier. What happens? We're shut down by the renegade sub. Captain Crane is still out there. I'll start search procedure immediately. All ahead, standard. Steady up on course 110. Mr. Stone, have all hands keep a sharp eye for a man on the water. Admiral, wouldn't you like to get out of those wet clothes? Yes, sir, I would, but uh, first I'd like to contact Sigurd. Mr. Frazier, put that call through, please. Yes, sir. We'll do everything we can to find him, sir. This is Morton, Admiral. Chip. I'm aboard the destroyer Macklin. The flying sub was shot down. Now, what about those missile silos? Two more missing so far, 11 and 18. Uh, but that, that means they know where they all are. Yes, sir, that's what the Pentagon is assuming. We're to pick up every missile still in place. Well, I'll let you take care of that. What we have to do here is recover the ones they already have. Good hunting, sir. Thanks, Jim. Oh, and Admiral, are you and the captain all right? Uh, uh, Captain Crane is missing. Over and out. Get a chart of this area. Right here. I'm gonna have to do this from memory. Uh, see the missile emplacements here. See, we just found two more empty silos here and here. Now, assuming the sub is picking them up in sequence. Number eight would be the one to be headed for now. The sub's missile hit us at approximately uh, 1,100 hours. I estimated speed at 14 knots. With your permission, I'd like your navigator to chart an intercept course and get underway at flank speed. What about Captain Crane, sir? What about him? If we continue our search pattern for a few more hours, we may be able to find him. I'm, I'm well aware of that, Captain. But we must recover those missiles. Yes, sir. Man in the water, 800 yards off starboard bow. Bring him aboard. Yes, sir. There to surface. Take it back down. Level off at 150 feet. Yes, sir. Who are you? What ship is this? I am Captain Thomas Ruiz. Did you pick up another survivor? Only you. Your aircraft crashed and sank immediately. Now, I have a question. Who are you? Lee Crane, Captain USRN Seaview. Well, the captain of the Seaview. The information you possess will be of great value to us when we return to my country. So you're the one who's been picking up our missiles. Why? You see, Captain, a very small country with a few nuclear missiles suddenly becomes a very large country. I have one more missile to pick up, then we head for home. I'll put the Captain in dry clothes.
Admiral, you'd better get out of those wet clothes. This man will show you to my cabin. Thank you, Captain. I, uh, I'll be back as soon as I change. Bridge, sonar. Bridge, aye. Captain, I got something on the scope that sounds like a sub. Bearing 270 degrees. I'll be right there. Mr. Fraser, come to course 270 degrees, all ahead flanked. Prepare a depth charge pattern. Aye, aye, sir. Come right to course 270, all ahead flanked. Prepare a depth charge pattern. Captain, we're picking up propellers on the hydrophone. Do you have a bearing? Closing fast from the stern, sir. What's our depth? 150 feet. Go to periscope depth. 10 degrees on the plane, level at 60 feet. Stern torpedo tubes. Stern torpedo tubes ready. Captain, we had to shoot down your flying submarine. Now we have to sink this destroyer. We have no choice. Stern tubes ready. Ready, sir. Fire. Fire. the damage control report on those torpedoes? One hit amidships and the other hit forward, sir. The forward one was a dud, but it penetrated the bulkhead at passageway four. Have you got a demolition crew on it? No, sir. They're trapped in the crew's mess after the explosion. Can we get to the dud? Yes, sir. This way. One hit, one miss. Finish her off. Take her up to periscope depth. Yes, sir. You can get away now. Give those men a chance. The wounded animal, Captain, is always the most dangerous. Please sit down. Stop engines, Mr. Fraser. It's alive. Stop engines. What about that sub out there? The skipper's any good. He'll try to finish us off. Take about 90 seconds for him to come up to periscope depth and look us over. When he sees we're dead in the water, he'll need two minutes to reverse direction and bring the other tubes to bear. 15, 20 seconds of fire, and exactly four minutes, reverse your starboard engines and bring your port engines up to a head plank. Yes, sir. All right, bosun. We just got four minutes to disarm this torpedo. We're not getting the brakes, Bosun. This thing is self-activating. What does that mean, sir? Means I can set it off with a slip of the wrist. I got a hole in their belly. They can't move till they fix it. Come to heading 250, ready forward tubes. Yes, sir. Heading 250, ready forward tubes. Slow propellers, Admiral, off the starboard beam. Bearing 070, range 3,000 yards. 
It's right on schedule. Zero, Captain. Very well. Range 2,800 yards. Range 2,800 yards. Forward tubes ready, sir. Fire! Fire! Flank on the port engine. Back to starboard engine. Right full rudder. Sir, both torpedoes missed. You read my thoughts, Manolo. Let's get out of here while we can. Steer 180 degrees. Yes, sir. Bridge, sonar. Bridge, I. I'm picking up those propellers again, bearing 070. Very well. Take 10 minutes to jettison the dead torpedo and make repairs. And we're going after that sub. Aye, aye, sir. Captain, destroyer moving up from a stern. No, this destroyer, Captain, is no amateur. I'll need every bit of information I can get from your sonar if we're to elude him. Is that clear? Yes, Captain. What do you read now? Destroyer still moving in, Captain. Ah! I need to watch him. Put on a hydrophone, see if you can pick him up. Take it down 150 feet, silent running. Yes, sir. Take it down 150 feet, silent running. Range 300 yards, closing fast. Now it's our turn. Full pattern, fire. Full pattern, fire. Full pattern, fire.
top of us. We're trapped. Not yet, we're not. Sonar report. Sonar, report any change in depth immediately. Aye, aye, sir. Some sort of a decoy, sir. Can you find him? Just came out of it, sir. He's heading 270, depth 250. Come to course 270. Set depth charges for 250. all engines. Up to 80 feet, all engines reverse. silent running. I've lost contact again, sir. They're still scrambling our sonar. Keep trying. There's no fool. Start a spiral search. I'll be with sonar. Give it 15 degrees right, Rudder. Beginning to make a spiral search, Captain. Good. The decoy worked. They lost us on their sonar. Listen to this, Admiral. Put it on the speaker. I don't even know what it was. We've lost him, sir. That decoy is throwing back echoes from every direction. Secure search, Mr. Fraser. Come in, Seaview. This is Seaview, Admiral. I scramble. What's your position? 12 degrees north by 100 degrees east. We're about to recover number four silo. You still have three more to go. Affirmative. We need your help. How soon can you get here? 
About 14 hours. It's not good enough. We have to kill that sub before she can pick up any more missiles and head for home. I might be able to shave that to 12 hours. Any news of Lee, sir? Not a word. Over and out. Any other vessels in this vicinity, Ensign? None that can reach us in less than 12 to 24 hours, sir. Well, then it's up to us. I'll plot this out. My last contact we assume that the sub was proceeding towards Silo 8 at her best speed. Now, uh, give me the time of intercept and the course. Yes, sir. Top speed, we will intercept here in 46 minutes, sir. All right, let's go. Come left to course 121. One. Full speed ahead. Manolo. Our course is 270. We should have the missile silo aboard and be on our way home in about three hours. If we don't run into that destroyer again. Captain, propellers bearing 270. You're right on top of us. Sound general alarm.
depth, 150. Set charges at 150 and fire. Aye, aye, sir. Sonar decoy and take it to the bottom. Captain, that's impossible. This is an old submarine. The pressure... I gave you an order. Yes, sir. The bottom. Him again, sir. Nothing between us and the bottom. Keep your ears open. Let me know if you hear the slightest sound. Engine room, hold stop. Listen to this. Captain, it's coming from the air duct. Get in there and stop him. Bottom, sir. Depth? 700 feet. Reset depth charges for 700 feet. Give them everything they've done.
look, Admiral? Off the starboard quarter. It looks like we got him, Admiral. Well, maybe that's, uh, that's what he wants us to think. If he's still alive, Wait until dark before he makes his move. and hug the bottom. Can't stay down here much longer, Captain. We've lost most of our air supply. Well, wait till dark. And we'll give that destroyer a little surprise. Meanwhile, I'll take a couple of men and find Captain Crane. Yes, sir. We couldn't find him, Captain. We looked everywhere. All right, we'll deal with him later. It's time to surface. Engine room, all ahead full. Torpedo room, stand by forward tubes. Prepare periscope decoy. Prepare periscope decoy. Aye, sir. Periscope decoy into the aft tubes. Fire periscope decoy. Decoy will reach the surface in 30 seconds. Give them another 20 seconds to spot it and turn. We'll fire forward torpedoes in exactly 50 seconds. Four torpedoes ready. Admiral, this is the bow lookout. Periscope three points off starboard. First mistake he's made. Come to course 035. Prepare to launch depth charges. Come right to course 035. Prepare to launch depth charges. Fire. Scope depth. Level at 60 feet. Torpedoes coming in on starboard beam. Emergency! Back port engine, all ahead starboard.
surface and finish her off. I want no survivors. Have a gun crew ready. Yes, sir. Prepare to surface. Prepare to surface. Prepare the gun crew. Bridge, engine room, sonar, and forward gun crew abandon ship. Abandon ship. We'll probably put another torpedo in us at any moment. So get as far away from the ship as possible. Ready your room. Send a distress signal and our position. Sub coming to the surface, bearing 235. Thanks, Sonar. Now get out of here. Engine room, give me all the power you've got. Then get off the ship. All right, sailors, abandon ship. Let's go, move. Forward gun. She's coming up. As soon as she's broadside, open fire. I'll be with you in a few moments. Now get off the ship. Aye, aye, sir. We must die!
something more explodes. Security Council already has them on the cart, but then they have to pay reparations, of course. Yeah. There would have been a lot of comfort if I'd gone to the bottom of that shop. I just think of the same thing. Look at the trouble I'd have had. Finding a new captain for Seville. That won't be necessary now, Admiral. 